All right. The 12 steps work because they remove the obsession to drink and use drugs. And allow me to be sober and content at the same time. They lead you to have a spiritual experience and to have a personality transformation. The 12 steps um, acknowledge the superordinate value of spirituality for human well-being. As they offer me a solution to me and my problems rather than offering me, you know, a band-aid. They connect you also to others and they, you develop a community. So they bring the, the addict to confront powerlessness. Everybody I've seen who follows the directions in the book get sober and stay sober for the rest of their lives. The 12 steps are a solution for anybody who's ready uh, and willing. The only people who can't get better in the steps are the ones who are constitutionally incapable of being honest with themselves. It forced me to take a look at myself and to stop pointing my finger at others. Everything after that is an instruction set, if you will, or designed for a living. The instructions are the same, but the experience is their own. They bring a spiritual dimension into the treatment world that uh, nothing else does. You know, everything that we have now seems to be treating a symptom to a problem, but never actually eradicating the problem. You know, drugs aren't the problem. Selfishness and self-centeredness is the problem. That's the root of my troubles, and that's what I'm trying to be rid of. A lot of other uh, treatments or approaches for recovery lead individuals in a, in a state of, uh, of like chronic fragility, you know, like I'm always uh, at avoiding people, places, and things that could trigger me. Part of what we're trying to do at GRC is get the word out that there are recovered opiate addicts. We're numerically significant, our numbers are growing, um, and we are not taking drugs, we are abstinence-based. And what the steps do is they show me how to live another way of life. It's an entire change in your way of being. Entirely new way of living. You know, only the first step even mentions alcohol. It's an awareness exercise and it takes a lot of action. And through this I learned that I was really the creator of all my problems. The hard work puts me in a position where I'm not suffering from an obsession to drink or use anymore. And I think it's that transformative experience that is what makes it so powerful. If I am sober and work these 12 steps, I'm freed from the mental obsession to get high. But it doesn't work the other way around. I've got to take the action to have the experience. I don't get to have the experience and then take the action. You don't see better outcomes than you do with the 12 steps in the world of treatment.